Well, I'm joined now by Alistair and Johnny Brownlee, the brothers who won gold and bronze in spectacular style for Britain in the triathlon this morning. Thank you both very much indeed for joining us and huge congratulations. Alistair, it's not often you see a winner walking across the finish line. Uh, yeah, it's not often you get the chance to do that, to be honest. Um, yeah, uh, I think in triathlons, you know, it's an hour 45 long. Sometimes you have a, a decent gap to be able to do it. And it wasn't so much even about celebrating at that point. I just wanted to finish as quick as I could and I was tired. I wanted to stop. And did you know what was going on with your brother with the, with the penalty? Yeah, I absolutely knew what was going on. Um, I knew he had a 15 second penalty from early on the bike. Um, and I knew at the end of the first lap of the run he was probably going to get a bronze medal um, because we, we pulled away very quickly. So I knew the guys in fourth, fifth weren't going to catch him. And, um, and I knew the guy in second, Javier Gomez, was absolutely flying and he was probably not good. Johnny wasn't going to be able to catch him either. Johnny, Johnny what happened with that, that penalty? And what, how does it set you back being held, held like that for 15 seconds? Well, I, I jumped on my bike too early uh, after the swim, so I got a penalty. And I found out uh, on, um, on lap two of the bike that I had a penalty, so I had the whole bike to think about it. Then during the run, I can, I can choose when to take that 15, sec that 15 seconds. So at the end of the first lap, end of the second lap, end of the third lap, or the end of the fourth lap. Uh, and I started the run, I was going to take it at the end of the first lap, because I knew I wasn't, be I wasn't going to be too tired then, so it would be easy to start again. Uh, but I was in a group with Alison and Javier Gomez, so I thought I might as well stay there. And then, then in the second lap was the same, so, and then in the third lap, I got a bit of drop from the, from the group, so I thought I might as well take it now. Uh, and that 15 seconds when you stood there with a the countdown clock seemed a long, long time. You're, you're obviously very close, and, and we've heard a lot about how you train together and how in sync you are um, through the day. But, do, I mean, how do you compete, given all of that? Do you, do you, ne do you have to have moments where you hate each other? Uh, not at all. I think we're naturally competitive. Um, we've done competitive sports since we're five or six years old, and we literally will compete at anything. Um, <laughs> Monopoly games, uh, you badminton. know, think badminton, things around the house. So... Um, yeah, we are very naturally competitive and given the chance we'll compete at anything, but also I think we've learnt that to train uh, well together we can't always compete, so, um, uh, and yeah, that's been really important as well. What is it that makes a, a triathlete? I mean, you were running at rates where you, you could enter the 10,000 metres quite comfortably, and you know, what, what makes you decide triathlon rather than taking on Mo Farah? Oh, we'd really struggle um, to run that bit faster um, to be able to take on Mo Farah in the 10k here. You know, he ran the 10k in 2730, which is you know not particularly difficult for him. And our my 10k split was uh, just over 29 minutes. Um, but yeah, it's very very tough to make up that extra time. And um, yeah, I think triathlon is where my talents are, and so I'm going to stick to it. And uh, and where do you go from Olympic gold? Do you just sort of try and come back next time? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, there's another Olympics, there's a Commonwealth Games in two years' time, and really excited for triathlon. There's going to be two events in the Commonwealth Games, a, a triathlon event and a, a relay event, which is hopefully then going to go on and be the next Olympic Games as well. But outside that, triathlon's a wonderful sport. That you can do all sorts of different events, um, you know, longer events, off-road events, all those kind of things. So maybe it might give a, a couple of different things a go. Johnny, are you going to win in Rio? Uh, I'll try my best, but if Alice is still there, he'll probably beat me again. Uh, but four years is a long time. I'm 22 now, so I'll be 26, and you know, lots can change Change then. Maybe some, some uh, young, young traffic come along, uh, but I'll try my best. Uh, but like I say, four years is a long time. Uh, this is Commonwealth next, and then after that, Rio. How do you both feel about this amazing landmark today of more medals than ever in, a, in an Olympics for Britain? Uh, Team GB has done incredible. You know, we've seen it all from the start. We're both massive sports fans, and we're proud to be part of it. You know, Team GB just hearing all these medals—it gives you confidence. Uh, yeah, so it's absolutely amazing. Alistair? Uh, yeah, I mean, triathlon is one of those sports where the Olympics is by far the biggest event. So personally, it's fantastic to win, but also it's fantastic to to be part of that bigger team and you know making history. Well, many congratulations to you both. Thanks very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kathy.